You guys know what it is. Of course you do. Hey, welcome to Brick Vault. Name is Mike, and that's right, that's the packaging for the Ninja Go Movie collectible minifigs. And by the way, guys, what a day, what a day, what a day. We just got from Comic Con, just like an hour ago, back to the studio. We were the whole day at the con, starting 5 a.m. this morning. I picked up Jack at 5 a.m., we went to the convention center, Comic Con hype all over the place. And before we get into this, I'm gonna tease you for what's to come. First, you see, we got the Vixen. Three and a half hours of standing in line for the Lego collectible minifig. Jack pressed the button, didn't win it. I pressed the button, I won it. So we got it at the studio, Vixen. We still have to get the duck, but we got her. And there's gonna be a video on this uh, amazing minifig. Second, second, that was like, this, this was like, Three hour and a half hours of standing around noon, so we had to get like 9 a.m. in the line. But before that, we got in the first line at 5 a.m. in the morning, like 6 a.m., and we got this. And we got this, and I also pressed the button, won the guy the ticket to buy them, and Jack didn't. So I was the lucky guy today. I was like crazy lucky today. That's the second thing to come. We still have to get the Spider-Man one. And uh, wow, that was like, we got all of them like exclusive. We were like out with the exclusive lines by 1 p.m. And we were able to like check out Lego booth. And that's when we got this. That's when we got this. Lego is selling those at Comic-Con. So you guys can expect an awesome stream on Monday. Yeah, we're gonna do it on Monday because there is no way we can do it on the weekend. And uh, yeah, Lego was selling that at Comic-Con booth, and we got crazy happy to get it. Actually, Jack picked it up yesterday. I, I think it was the last one, but like today they had uh, a few of them still left at the con. So you can buy it at the Comic-Con if you're lucky enough to get there. We got it. Monday stream, most likely. Double stream, me and Jack. It's gonna be crazy. So that's like exclusive for today. Um, exclusive for today. Great day. Crazy amazing. And the coolest also thing, right before I, I'm going to get in this right in a second, but the coolest thing was that LEGO was streaming the build for the Ninjago City live from Comic-Con, and we just saw them doing this live like an hour 30 minutes ago. We went to Con, they were streaming the set, and we talked, <laughs> it's the funniest thing, we talked to the LEGO marketing manager for social media at LEGO Group, and he said, he said, I don't have it on the camera, but he said it, we watched your Brick Vault streams and that's why we're streaming the Ninja Go set at Comic Con because we love your streams and we want to do it as well. So Lego official, it's not official, but he told it to me. He said, that's the idea. They stream because they saw our streams. They jumped in one of our streams previously. So we met them. We met the guys, we met the Lego guys. We saw those guys build. We even like chatted to them like on live when we were like on the bus back to the car. And they responded like, hey, Brick Vault, cool, you stopped by, thanks for watching, and like, keep up the good stuff, you know? It was, ah, it was amazing to meet the LEGO people and see that they enjoy our stream so much that they actually started live streaming as well. So that was, that was amazing, that was amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna be jumping in to um, this cam right here. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys, you guys can uh, see it like the proper way. So that's the packs. And here's the thing with those guys. Welcome everybody, by the way. I'm super excited today because like, yeah, it's a late stream. By the way, it's a late stream. I know it's 4 p.m. Over like almost 5 p.m. here in California, but we just back from the con again uh, for those of you who just joined. And I wanted to do those guys today because we picked up the last mini missing minifig at the con. So we have all of them. They're all here. They're all here. We, well, we didn't want to do a blind spot check, actually, so we did, like, feel for them. I labeled some of them. I labeled some of them. And uh, to make sure, so we see, we're gonna verify if I'm right. And we had to pick up, like, one last minifig at the con. We're able to do it, I hope so. So if Jack didn't mess anything up with this collection here, then we should have all 20 minifigs on the stream. And then you're gonna, you guys gonna probably have a video of a collection review, so that's gonna be much shorter than the stream and so many people can enjoy it as well. So, let's open those guys. I'm gonna actually open this first unlabeled one because I wanna be sure if that's the guy we got, we're supposed to get. Let me just get, um, hey Jack, 
Can you pass me some cutter or some stuff? Oh, I got scissors. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I got scissors. I got scissors. I got scissors. Yes. Okay. So, starting. Yeah. Starting off right now, I'm opening the uh, minifig collectible minifigure series. That's number one. Let's see who it is. I'm like super excited because of the con and like all this stuff. And I believe you, I, I tell you guys, this was crazy to go and to see all these cool co cosplayers and this Lego meeting, like meeting the Lego guys at the booth, seeing them stream because kind of because of us, that was awesome. First minifig out, that's the Shark Army General. That's for sure because she has this special wings. Um, so for those of you who are not uh, familiar with uh, the collectible minifigure series, we have 20 of those guys. So right now you can get them at the con if you are lucky enough. And don't worry, you can still get them at Legolands across the country. At least I, that I know of. Legoland Discovery Center, Legoland California. I think they have them right now. Um, so yeah, we have we should have all 20 on the stream. I'm going to be opening. If there is a mistake, that's uh, on us. That's on us. <laughs> all right. So this one is uh, number that's which one is it number 11 the shark army general let's put her together real quick all right she's actually like she has a special type of i'm gonna start with the wings here i mean it's not wings it's some sort of a. Uh, you know let's see oh okay it's some sort of like um fins i think in her back so yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you guys for joining. Um, I know it's a late stream for some of you because like we are not used to streaming on Fridays that late, but con day, you know, the Comic Con day, as I told, and I, I think I specifically told that it's not gonna be a stream today. So anyone that was skipping because of that, I'm so sorry, but we just got back from the con. We had some more time. We got the last minifig. And Jack said, yeah, let's just stream it. And we're like so stoked and so happy to meet Lego people. Um, the actual people that are behind their social media teams. And I swear to you guys, I swear, I don't have a proof because I don't have it on my, on my cam. But they loved our streams and they, that our streams gave them idea for the con stream of Lego Ninja Go City. And like we're so happy to talk to them because yeah, we already had the set in our possession and um, we said like, yeah, we want to check it out and that we're going to build it um, as soon as possible. So you guys can probably expect a Monday, Monday, uh, she has like a slushy cup, whatever. You can expect a Monday stream for the, what is this? You guys can expect a Monday stream for the Lego Ninja Go City. Uh, me and Jack is going to be doing this. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's put her in. That's the first fig, and uh, yeah, she's like she's one of the coolest, to be honest. All right, so that's Shark Army General. The printing is excellent. Look at that! Like, what an amazing print! All those like orders and medals, a lot of cool uh, color combination, like blue, dark blue. There is golden reflective paint. There is some silver on her sort of a chainmail pants. That's kind of an armor thing. And the back, the back actually, well, the back is completely empty. There is not, there is nothing on the back. You can see like through the, the wings part, fins, wings, whatever. I think it's like some sort of like a marine creature um, thing right there. But yeah, that's a plastic, uh, kind of a plastic, not plastic, it's like this, this like um, special foil piece that uh, we have that like in the, um, which ones? the uh, parademons from justice league that's the same type of material so it's very thick so it nicely stands you can see like how nice she's shaped right now it looks great it looks like a like a proper uh, very noble fish <laughs> to be honest but yeah and the, the the piece for the slushy cup the icy cup or like the smoothie or shake whatever also really cool great fig to start off this collection and uh, Mike, eat a jalapeno. No. <laughs> What's up with the jalapeno thing? Like what? All right. Second bag, also unlabeled. 
Uh, I labeled some of them, so I know what's inside, but maybe I'm gonna show it so you're surprised, because I want to be sure I have the entire collection. And we'll see what's happening. And there you go. Um, you guys are requesting to ban a guy, and I think I will concur to this request, because we don't need such people in the chat. Let's see. Where is this guy? I'm just gonna... Yeah, just gonna... Well, give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one quick second there. And... There you go. Does that work? Yeah, it works. Alright, see you, dude. Um, hope to not see you again. Anyway, let's keep the good vibes. Comic-Con is in. And that is the angler. Uh, Shark Army angler. And uh, to be honest with you guys, that is the guy we were missing. That is the guy. This guy was picked up today at Comic-Con. We went to the Lego booth. The Lego booth is excellent because they have like the uh, display area. They are building a massive Garmadon actually. We have some footage, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do a short episode on that. There is a massive uh, Garmadon being built. Like, you know, people just come in, like build a part of it and put it together as a master builder there to build the Garmadon thing, uh, mini f this massive statue. And yeah, part of the booth is them, uh, was actually, because they're finished now building the Ninja Go City. Two guys, the actual designers of the set were building it. So we said hi. They said, oh, Brickwood, hey, what's up, guys? And like, holy moly, the designers of the set like recognized us, actually did. I think that must have been their idea to stream it. <laughs> well, we're like happy to influence Lego on that part, to be honest. It was so cool to hear. And oh, it's a lady, actually. It's a lady um, officer in the Shark Army, and that's the angler, so Here's the thing, like the face is exclusive. I think the face is exclusive, but um, the angler fish helmet I just had in, uh, which set was it? Like the last one I built, the ice tank. Which one was it? I think that the last set I just built um, not that long ago, but there is more to it. Sh uh, there is a, a <laughs> kind of like a Morgenstern weapon. So here's the thing, it's also a fish, it's silver in this time, not blue, like in the sets. So she comes with this weapon, and this piece is, is a rubbery add-on on top of a dark grey lightsaber rod. So that's an add-on. See, I was right. I was right. That's an add-on. I was rubbery. That's like a rubbery add-on. That's why I missed it, because I was yeah. feeling around for the spike ball in the bag. Jack was confused, <laughs> he, he was stuck. feeling for it, and this piece is actually <laughs> extra. So you have to find for it like s separately. You have yeah, to look yeah. for it. The angler fish helmet is the same helmet we got. Um, is it different? Is it big thing here? Oh, oh yeah, right. Is. Yeah, I was I was like right. building up the hype. Cool. So that's the guy. Yeah. So the helmet is cool, but I think it's not exclusive. It's it's the same as we get in the set. But some parts of it are exclusive. So I'm not super excited about this minifig to be honest, because of so many parts being available elsewhere. Um, the angler? Oh yeah, his, I, I, his head is in a different color, right? No, it's the same. Oh wait, wait. The other one was blue. Oh, the one was blue. Yeah, so it's was green. it blue? Yeah. Huh. Okay, so it must be called. Sucker MC. Okay, so yeah, I guess he's more collectible than I think because the angler fish is green. Go figure. By the way, uh, thank you guys for joining. Actually, I don't have my full list of subs opened up right now. We get some followers. We got. Bucky86 and all oh, oh, Genie just following on Twitch. And I'm gonna check my subs on YouTube real quick. Um, Cause I think a bunch of you guys jumped in. It was, I, it would be like a, a very uh, un nice thing to miss you guys. Sonic Electro, Ninja Cake Studios, that I like the name. London Hopkins, Harry Tours, Frustrated Red Spartan, cool. Bennyville, Magnet Mad XX, um, Redstone Torch, Jerome O'Flaherty, Aiden Ward, and uh, yeah, and that's it for this stream because it was only 15 minutes. I'm like 90 minutes in, we had like a few subs over those 15 minutes. Thank you so much, guys. The third bag, let's see. I know what it is. I know what it is because it's labeled. Let me just double check if it's true. Oh, it was like, oh, I was like, that's the one I torn before. There you go. I didn't pick though, I didn't pick though. It was torn. Let's see. It was just feeling, is it? Yeah, that's Lloyd. Is it? All right, that's Lloyd. 
Cool. Um, yeah, I was right. I had trouble finding that one. Or like that was one that was found over the last one. Alright, so that is Lloyd. I'm gonna actually put those extra um you guys can probably see part of it at least. So you guys I'm gonna try to keep it here maybe so you guys can like yeah, that's like that's a good call. Yeah, so that's Lloyd. His number is that's this guy, number three. It's Lloyd Garmadon in his green ninja form. So what do we get here? There is a, of course, this two type Ninjago mask. I think a special face expression for him. And uh, he doesn't seem to be super, uh, he doesn't seem to be super different from his set counterpart. There is this piece for the sword, but the, the, the mold is the same. And this special like piece in the bottom. Plus, oh, that's interesting because for this guy, huh, you get, oh, that's that's very uncommon. You get his Ninjago face mask and you get his hair, which is a special piece. So let's see how he actually looks through those. Oh, see, so here's the thing. You cannot put the hair on while he has the mask on, so it doesn't really fit. So I'm going to try, like, I like the look oh, for... That would have been cool, so. Yeah, but like... He's much better in this form, I think. And that comes in one bag, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, instead of like very common Ninja Go green ninja mask, we got the hair for him, which is like a surfer type of hair, I think. I'm gonna show you in a second. And he comes with, what is this? A special, seems like his uh, green Ninja Go Mech Dragon head on a print. It's like a blueprint for his green Ninja Go Mech Dragon, I think so. Probably an item that's gonna be available in the movie, you guys can see. So that is it. And yeah, that's him. I like the hair version so much better. And yeah, the blueprint is of course an exclusive tile with his, uh, let me just rotate it, with his Ninjago Mech Dragon head blueprint. I think that's it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Nice fig. I like the fact that you get both his face mask for Ninjago version and um, the tile and his special hair. I think like there is no way to like keep the mask from losing it. So I gotta have to figure out like a special thing to add to his base plate. So, you know, he doesn't get lost. I think the mask is not special. So not, not big of a deal, I think. All right, next guy. Let's see, maybe uh, this. Okay, opening. You can't see this on screen, but... I, I can, yeah. I, I can't really show it. No, you can't. Jack is holding like a Comic Con uh, collectible. He was like too crazy of a fan to not to buy. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I can I can maybe show the face only. Yeah, if you, if you cover up the middle part. Okay. If you cover up the okay. middle part. That's how the so, box is shown. So, you know, that's. Okay. This is uh, Rick. Yeah, it's Rick. That's Rick from, that's, from Rick and Morty. That's, when that's, the, that's like a cheapy. Sorry? Sorry, yeah. That's when the alien civilization thinks he's a god and they make a statue of him. I'm trying to cover up his gesture because it's not very appropriate. No. <laughs> you should like pixel it out. Well, he has like, uh, this, if you watch the show, the statue is showing a very distinctive gesture. gesture. Uh, but I can show his hands <laughs> right now, but you can see the head. That's a Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, how much? 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Yeah, cool statue. It says Rick and Morty. Uh, it's, a, it's a good plastic, actually. Like, the yeah, more, like, yeah, I yeah feel. it's like heavy. Yeah, it's nice. like a heavy, like, so yeah, Jack got it for like 20 bucks, so I'm gonna, Anyways, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the gesture is awesome, like, <laughs> it's the gesture of peace, you you guys all know. Yeah, probably. it is, that, that is what he tells the alien civilization when he gets there, he's like, this means peace among worlds. Yeah, so his gesture, like, shows, like, <laughs> peace to this alien world. Great. Jack, Jack is a much more of a fan of the show, I, I should start watching it because I, I heard good things I about it. Because city. I have, like, the biggest fan as my co-worker, so, you know. This should be in the park. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to like pixel out every this single is, shot. This is like a statue like in a nice park like in the show. That's like what it is. Yeah, so that was a co Comic-Con collectible. Jack was like, we were like, I was standing in line and uh, Jack went off to the exhibit hall to like check out some swag, you know. We got some cool swag from for like press members. But he was trying to get like special Lego posters. Lego was distributing a lot of cool like collectible posters. By the time he got there, they were all out, sold out. We should get more, maybe, um... Oh! Cool. 
And we have the classic Garmadon, by the way, in this bag. Uh, bag. Oh, that was what I was unsure about. We that got, we got, we got classic Garmadon. That's okay, for sure. Um, which part is goes first? I think that's his lower torso. Um, I wonder how much he differs from like the set Garmadon. Um, let me just check real quick. One second. That's the closest I can check. This is Garmadon from the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon. And yeah, the torsos are different. So that's the that's the ready to go Garmadon from the set. And that's the collectible minifigs. Yes. So the torsos are different. I was afraid that they like went the cheap route. And you know, I'm not sure about the other Garmadon because there is like Garmadon mech. One, one second. Double check. Double check. Okay, guys, and I think here is where it gets disappointing. Yeah. All right, let's compare. So, that's Garmadon from the Garma Mechaman set, the one with the swords completed, and that's the torso. Torsos from Collectible Bag. They are the same. Yeah, they are the same. Um, let me just see the back. No! <laughs> you clever little sneaky guys from LEGO. The back is empty on the collectible one and there is a print on the actual set one so there you go <laughs> another cheap move no print on the back no that's print it? that's it what about his what about his weapon now is this a collectible oh there, i think the weapon may be collectible but uh, what's the face expression oh the face the, okay it's in the a, face it, it's a different face expression and the mold for his hat and the hat there's plenty of pieces the, in there that the, the hat comes with uh one of the civilians in the sets but this one isn't black yeah yeah so yeah he's different all right he's different the face expression is different front the torso print is the same um, there is no printing on the back on the collectible one, and uh, there is a new hat. And his weapon, uh, I think this piece was present um, previously. So, go jumping up. Yeah, so that's the completed guy. Um, well, still cool, still cool, great, cool way to get Garmadon in a good form. I like the the. I think I like the jungle one the most. Where is the jungle one? Yeah, jungle one. Jungle, that's the jungle one, so you guys can see. The jungle one has like a special cloth piece for his scarf kind of thing. And uh, the jungle one has even different torso, so he's more collectible than anything else. And he has like a super cool armor in the back. See, there's like this um, surface armor. Anyway, I think that's, that's it for this guy. So I'm gonna put those guys on the side. So that's Garmadon, the collectible Garmadon. Cla they call it the classic Garmadon, just in the collectible minifig series. So I'm gonna put him here next to the Jar of Awesome, by the way. That's Jar of Awesome for Twitch. Um, recording all actions that happen on Twitch. So if you get a follow, there's like a small brickboard logo jumping in the jar. I had requests for setting up the jar for YouTube, but there is no function of such kind yet, okay? So cool if it has the jar filled, we like found a little jar and we filled it ourselves with little Lego bits. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, but the, the, I, I would love to set up a jar like this for uh, YouTube, but it's it's not possible yet. It's not there, there's no function for that. All right, so so far so good. We got all the guys I want so far. There you go. So that's uh, yeah. I marked him as a Shark Army General, and I was right. Great. So it's 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 called Shark Army Great White. Um, that's like a different type of guy. Yeah, he looks cool. Which one? Great white. Yeah, so this guy has uh, this special uh, mold for his shark head, which is pretty awesome. Very good face, I'm gonna show you like very good face expression. Look at this guy. He's angry. He's really angry. And he's missing a, I think he's missing a tooth in the front. He, he got beaten up, I think. Anyway, excellent fig, great face expression. Look at it, look at the shark mold. There's like a small like burning mark, like burning damage mark on his helmet. Kind of like he got shot in the head or something. That's cool, the printing for it also excellent. Dark blue, dark red, some burning marks, like he's burning. Like look at the leg, 
the print on the legs, on the sides, it's like burn marks, like he got, he's getting like really some damage there. Great fig. And uh, well, guess why he's burning? Because he's holding a fire fish. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's like a fire, a, a fish torch in black. That's fish in black, that's very uncommon. Uh, even, maybe even exclusive to this guy for now. Fish in black and a fire, that's a fire fish, fire fish blade. Whatever that is. Great fig! I think the shark army guys in collectible series are awesome. There is one more to, to uncover. Uh, two more, actually. No, one more. One more to uncover. The octopus. Yeah. Um, so, so far so good. That's the guy. And uh, the last one to uncover is gonna be the octopus. So, this guy is here. It's number 14. So, alright. Enjoying the streams, guys. I can see, like, people in the chat hanging out. Thank you so much. Uh, apologies for the live, uh, late stream uh, this time around because like I said like we may not stream on Friday But we had such a good day at comic-con like got all those collectibles for today that were available We got the vixen. I got it. <laughs> we got the brickheads. I got it uh, So that was pretty cool uh, We met a lot of good people like we met we, we made friends in the line People like that watch our channel, they helped us like get a good spot in the line. You know, it was awesome. Like people on Comic Con are awesome. So many good cosplays. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the cosplays, cosplays are the nuts. Cosplay stuff today it was amazing. Very, so, yeah. Amazing yeah. cosplays. We got some footage. Yeah, we might make just like a for fun kind of whatever video for Comic Con. Yeah. Because we showed off some of the Lego stuff, but it's like we also got a bunch of just cool. Exactly. Stuff so there. yeah, today if you guys noticed, we had like three videos scheduled uh, from yesterday's visit to Comic Con that Jack was doing. So it was like short videos, just showing like two minutes of uh, the coolest stuff at the Lego booth. Today I had I had the, the camera with us as well, so we had like more like hanging out time and waiting in the line. So I got some B-roll footage and some like us vlog style talking to the cam. So I may like cut it sometime uh, down the week and maybe not even, I'm not sure if today, but we're gonna be putting maybe some little break while that Comic Con video, we'll see, because it's an awesome event. So we have Cole and the Cole is in his, I, I, it's one of my favorite minifigs from this series. That's Cole in his like teenage rebel form, you know? He has like, he's, he's the bad guy, like the bad boy Cole. One single face expression, but very good. Like this, like, messy hair, you know? Like, he's like a surfer, like, ghetto <laughs> call. Um, and like, oh, I I love his back shirt. It says, can you guys see? It says, World Tour 1985. That's my year of birth. That's awesome. It, yeah, it says World Tour 1985. World Tour. It's like, it's like a concert uh, t-shirt, like, like a rock concert t-shirt. It's like a World Tour 1985 and the cross, uh, the cross beam there says sold out. Like, it's like one of those like, you know, um, huge like co uh, rock festivals t-shirt that you can get. It's really awesome. And yeah, he has some cool stuff on the, um, it's, oh, it's ACDC shirt. He has an ACDC shirt. Yeah, it's like a ninja go for ACDC. You can see like the, the thunder in the middle and some like characters on left and right. It's like ACD. It's like an ACDC reference logo. It's so nice. So like that's an ACDC concert shirt. Okay, hands down, my favorite minifig of all collection right now. And he comes with a boombox. That's an excellent, that's like a special texture print. This guy just became my all time favorite for Ninja Go movie. Just, just instantly, just snap. Snap, snap. I'm an I'm a ACDC fan, so you guys can probably tell. Just welcome! Oh, that's that's Guns N' Roses. Welcome to the jungle! Oh, that's Guns N' Roses, I know that. Biggest ACDC fan. Biggest ACDC fan. Welcome! And Axel Rose, yeah, of course, like... No, I, I, I meant Thunderstruck, okay? I love Guns N' Roses as well. So, like, Guns N' Roses and ACDC are my two favorite bands. I, I can tell. Welcome to the jungle! Yeah. It's, it's, I know it's Guns N' Roses, but I know this track a lot and I, I love it. Like, but like Thunder, like Brian Johnson would sing like Thunderstruck. It's so awesome, like I love the band. The Bordeaux's about to rock. We salute you. So it's like the best rock song ever. I swear, it's like, it's like it built up the hype. You guys know? All right, so this guy is K. 
Kendo Ko, Kendo Kai. So we call him Kendo Kai, and I think his that that's his official name. Um, because he's in his um, Kendo outfit. Well, that's Kai's torso and legs that are, um, you know, I think the same. Let me just, can you, can you toss me like a Kai minifig? Is there a Kai there or like, oh, there's one here, one second. Oh, Kai? Yeah. Like a Kai? From, it's Kai from the temple, again, uh, because I have the set next to me. Temple of the ultimate, ultimate weapon. Print, the same. Print is the same. Oh, you guys can see. And uh, the back, yeah, the back is the same too. I can tell. Like, I, I won't take the sword out, but I'm sure that that's the same back. I, I, I'm very familiar with this right now. So yeah, same prints um, so far. But let's see what's dif what differs here. Yeah, so he comes with a special face expression. That's for sure. Uh, a kendo armor. So that's like a training armor. Um, and yeah, <laughs> he's... Oh, that's a, that's a very good face expression. So, he comes with two, uh, how do we call them, Daibo? Like those like um, training, training um, sticks that a lot of like people are, got, uh, are fighting, like a lot of ninjas are fighting with. And he comes with what? The same type of hair. Is that the same hair? Let me see. Yeah, so same type of hair as the actual set Kai with the hair version from the ultimate weapon, but he gets the, the Kendo helmet. And this thing is the best part about him, by far. The Kendo helmet is a very nice, like, you know, this um, safety helmet, and it's three color, black, there is a round, red around his face, and the whole uh, mesh that's protecting his face is gold. So this is the really awesome piece, really awesome piece. So yeah, that makes him highly exclusive, even though the print for the torso is the same. I don't mind too much because he's covered by his custom Kendo armor and his face expression is like a really angry guy. Probably gets, gets beaten up by Master Wu or anyone else he's sparring with in the Kendo training room, I think. So excellent face expression, I <laughs> love the patch and he's like uh, very angry look and then there is the helmet really good mask and really good fig also he comes with uh, the hair so again we have no means of storing the hair except like next to him maybe on some cylinder piece i'm gonna figure it out anyway righto so next fig we got like seven figs out 13 to go what set will you do next you know what because a lot of you joined, a lot of you joined now, okay? New new people joining, so I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna build the hype. I'm gonna build the hype, for sure. I'm gonna build the hype. This is the next set we are doing. This is, this is the... Uh, the review for the ice tank is coming tomorrow, but for the stream, you guys can expect this big boy, um, probably Monday. Probably Monday. We're so lucky to pick it up at Comic-Con. Lego was selling them at Comic-Con. We just, blink of an eye, we just bought it. So there you go. Ninja Go City is in the house. I'm gonna come back to my main scene. Ninja Go City is in the house. Can't wait, guys, can't wait. The Lego people told us at the booth and we saw it like on the live stream and like, they were live streaming, we just were standing like a, a feet away from them because there was like a just short line, cameras and action and like the marketing manager was just talking yeah, to her. Like <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I was like kind of like a uh, not nice of a person <laughs> because I was doing a joke. I was doing a joke and I, I, I waved at the designer of the Ninja Go City set and I say, hey, and it's like, oh, hey, I know you guys. And I say, I say, say Brick Vault. And the guy was like, was like watching at me. Well, I, yeah, like I can say it because like we're not on a microphone. <laughs> and I said, dude, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Like, <laughs> it was so funny. Like, but yeah, the designers, uh, I think they were like behind why they streamed this set because they saw our streams. That's so awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, speaking of that, we know that this set has three booklet manual. Uh, I think th there are three booklets. That means we need like only one manual one box to split the build between me and Jack. So yeah, that we're gonna do a double stream. We're gonna like start off 
with one manual with by one person and the second manual in the middle of the build for the second story or whatever we're gonna be built by me or Jack as, as well so we can split the stream that's pretty cool and uh, I that means I don't have to get a second manual uh, for the stream what is happening here that's Jay Walker minifig that's Jay in his like fancy uh, student form I think he has a scarf that was a piece I was looking for a lot looks pretty awesome if you guys can see that's the scarf piece um, Lego is like really doing amazing pieces right now he comes with this like cheesy face expression like was it me I think I saw this expression um, you know before but other things that he gets is a selfie stick love his hair like those messy crazy hair like he, I'm like a handsome student you know like hanging out at the college I guess so, but yeah, that's his selfie stick. And we also get a special tile uh, with his cell phone. I'm gonna show you in a second. Very good minifig again. Yeah, this series is awesome. Like this uh, this, version, this uh, Ninja Go series. The whole team is amazing. Yeah, so we get that. He gets the selfie, the selfie stick with a tile with his, uh, well, <laughs> cell phone. Uh, smartphone and his face for the selfie so that's that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome and it's a simple build for the stick but you can actually you can rotate it as the selfie stick would work and yeah he can he can do a selfie right now see great great thing I love him but still call is the better he is the better version it's awesome wow moving on Mike, which would you buy? Um, I'm skipping so many questions. I'm sorry, guys. Like, what? If you were a minifig, Mike, what accessories would you want LEGO to give you? What shirt print? ACDC? Sure, yeah. I would love a flash. Like a, like a flash armor like we had like in, in the Justice League set. I went in this in Comic-Con. Uh, that's my Comic-Con shirt. That's like the, the best I can do with cosplay. All right? That's like the best. I'm not like there were so many like, great awesome cosplay people. I had like a bunch of pictures. Jack was uh, running for my Nikon. A lot of cosplayers, but that's, that's the best I can do. That's, that's, like, that's me. <laughs> cool. Uh, next fig. We got one uh, eight. Eight. Cool figs. You guys can see the figs on the table. I try to position them the way so you barely can can at least see what's going on. I'm gonna get the light maybe slightly higher up so you guys can see. I know there are like, people jumping in the stream, like constantly something is happening. So, this is marked as Shark Army Octopus. Let's see if I'm right. Yes! Woo! So we got the Shark Army guys correct. I was like, they were like the hardest to spot, to be honest, because they are, have very similar pieces along the way. And there are only very few pieces like differentiating between them. So, Shark Army Octopus. How about, I wonder how many... How, actually, how many um, versions of sea creatures do we get in the shark army? There is the puffer, there is the crab, there is the octopus, there are these three types of sharks, there is the anglerfish in two versions, there is the uh, jelly guy, who else is there? Did I miss someone? At least six, I think. Did I miss someone from the sets? Puffer, octopus, Three sharks at least, I think. We have like two sharks here already. There's one more. Um, there is the jelly. Um, crab. Yeah, sounds about right. All right, uh, this guy. It's a rubber octopus, by the way. Oh, so here's the thing. It's so easy to like mess up his head because this octopus like it's very tight very tight I'm, I can't even like remove his head right now what is happening okay <laughs> so the octopus is eating my guy I can't really remove him wow this is so tall guys I'm I'm in trouble here uh, let's see come on get out I can see the head there we go <laughs> birth reference. anyway all right, uh, <laughs> um, let's build him, this guy. And I think he finally gets a, like a new print 
I'll, I'll just an updated print for the tactical gear. So, let's try it again. I'm gonna show you the face first because once I put this octopus, this is a rubber piece, by the way. It's like, it's a face huger. But it's so tight, it's rubber, so once you get it on the head, it's hard time getting this off. But his face is also special with this, like, um, you know, uh, scratch mark going over. And now I have, like, Oh, we're good today. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, that was like a, a cleaning lady. I, I mean, we're okay with the trash today because we're not at, we're not at the studio, so we're fine. Uh, I just want I just don't want her to crush the stream. You know? <laughs> we're funny. Uh, yeah, we have like that's, that's our, like office building, and we have like cleaning people coming every time at like yeah 5 p.m. like right now. All right. And, um, oh, there's a piece, of course, he has a stud uh, gun, so that's not super exciting here. Um, and yeah, right, uh, so yeah, we get a stud gun and uh, two extra ammo, um, you know, just simple orange um, studs, that's okay. Yeah, so that we have all the shark army guys, I was so afraid we missed one or something, because they're kind of hard to get, the octopus is excellent, <laughs> it's excellent, it's all rubber. So, like, goes around, it actually fits with his uh, scuba tank, you can see, <laughs> great. Those ha those helmets are, like, the best thing that happened to LEGO figures for, for a while now. Those, like, rubber helmets with all the, like, crazy sea creatures for Shark Army. I like them a lot, it makes the Ninja Go movie theme so much better. Um, it's, it's still very good, but, like, it's still an awesome game. Alright, next minifig, we got 9 out of 20. <laughs> How many emojis are considered emoji spam? You can try, but I don't know. I think I said 20 or something. I'm not, I'm trying to be like liberal for you guys. I'm not trying to like ban everyone or like time out everyone. Um, so probably I said it to 20. So don't, don't try it. Like it's still a spam. Anyway, we have, this bag is marked GPL tech and that's correct. Oh, I, I didn't make a mistake yet. Didn't make a mistake yet. So, GPL Tech is this lady, she's, uh, she's the scientist type uh, version, that's number 18, right here. GPL Tech comes with a red mug, and I think sort of on a laptop. Yeah, that's a laptop. Oh, that's a very good piece, actually. It, does it open? Yes, it does. I think it does open. Yes. <gasps> wow, that's actually a very good piece. Did you have it, like, in the previous uh, LEGO minifigs? Or Lego of like ever. Nah, yeah, he's like, she's like a nerdy, uh, nerdy tech. And she has a Batman shirt. Oh my god, that's so awesome. <laughs> Jack was lucky today. Like, we got some Comic Con swag. And um, he got, yeah, when, when you pick up your bag <clears throat> for Comic Con, you get. Um, a, a bag of like goodies and there's always a special pin with a character and every bag has a different one so Jack first had um, Wonder Woman as a pin I got Green Arrow and the one of the staff members for Comic-Con saw his uh, Wonder Woman and she so much wanted it so, so bad and she had Batman as a pin and Jack loves Batman so they like traded with a Comic-Con staff member yeah, and, and apparently Wonder Woman was like more collectible, but Jack is more of like a Batman guy, so he gave her the Wonder Woman and he got the Batman back. So that's pretty cool. So that's J JPL Tech. Awesome nerd minifig. Look at her glasses print. It's so... It's cool. There's only one face expression, this glasses, like nerdy, super heavy glasses. She comes with this like quite common piece for the... Uh, I think we saw that in creator sets already. Uh, at least I'm mistaken, but that's might be a new piece as well. I don't know. There's a red mug That's classic and the laptop is a very good Operable piece and there is the thing if you guys can see it has a Lego Where normally you would have something like an Apple from Apple or like, you know, there's a Lego logo on the laptop Cool fig and the Batman shirt is killing it. You can see her lab coat like her work coat and uh, There's git the letters G-I-T on her name tag. There's a pen. Um, G-I-T must be some sort of like a maybe MIT type of institute in Lego Ninjago lore. 
and uh, yeah, that's the Batman logo. Just just slightly like poking from underneath her lab coat. Oh, maybe my second favorite minifig. I don't know. It's uh, such a cool reference to anything. Right, let's move on. With all the mistakes Mike makes, it will take several days. What? What mistake do I make? You missed a fish on the shark army octopus? Really? Oh, oh, where's the fish? Where is the fish? Honestly, where is it? Like, it's not here. Maybe. I need like a silver fish. It wasn't in the bag? How is that possible? Did you guys see the fish like going somewhere? Because I think it was in the bag. Is that possible? Uh, I need like the fish for the shark army octopus. It's like a silver fish. Silver fish for the shark army Yeah, like this guy. Silver fish. I thought, I swear like I, it was on the table. Is it possible it fell off? Because yeah, we checked the bag at Comic Con once you buy, bought it, I think. It was this one? No, it wasn't the, this one. Well, I can't seem to have the fish with that. Um, is Silverfish like exclusive? No, so Silverfish is everybody comes with it. Yeah, like we can, we can replace it. Silverfish is, I think, are... They're not common, but yeah. they didn't come... Uh, yeah, um, all the mistakes Mike's make. I'm like a mistake guy, I don't really care that much. <laughs> Just double checking if I have all the collect all the music. <gasps> Look! A fish flew by. Flying fish in the studio. Yeah, we're gonna replace it with like. There you go. So that's the complete guy. He comes with a fish. Of course. I was like, I should have like wondered why doesn't he have a fish like everyone else does. Okay, she doesn't come with a fish. She's still like an army, shark army member, and she doesn't have a fish. So jokes on me. All right, uh, next one is labeled as Pinjitsu Nia and just verifying our feeling techniques. Uh, yes, that is Pinjitsu Nia. Woo. That, was, that was picked up by a staff member at the Lego. I was, I was, that, that was a staff member? Yeah, I remember Oh, that was, kudos to whoever helped yeah. Jack pick this one. Shout out to, Shout out to a Legoland Del Mar staff member that was there on Friday last week and helped Jack find Spinjitsu Nia. And he was right. She comes with, it was she? Okay, it was a girl. Lego girl, the unassociate. Um, all right, and Spinjitsunia comes with like a Spinjitsu outfit, and that's like a, her white outfit, which is not very common. Looks more like Kai's, but that's her. Uh, you can see Master Vu logo, so that's probably Master Vu training grounds or some sort of like a gym. She comes with this super awesome um, hairpiece. That's her like hair uh, tied up at the back uh, for fight purposes and the two brown katanas which is also not very common or even a new color for this type of uh, sword because there are like training katanas wooden katanas to for training purposes and she comes with two cool fig uh, print on the back also a massive master vu logo very good very good and everything like you see in detail like everything that that, that silver um, this golden lining on her suit is all actually golden paint. Um, she even has, has some inscriptions on her pants in also golden paint. Very nice detail. Like those figs, like I'm hardly complaining about those minifigs because every single one I open is just awesome. It's just awesome. You are the best. How many repeats? Um, dude, like no repeats so far. We're like, we had to like, we had, uh, we had the first batch and we, okay, we said like, we had to fill them for them and we had like a lot of repeats because we just grabbed a, a, like, a, like, a, you know, like a handful of those from the store and uh, so we had to like go back actually to the store, fill for more of them, actually find the collection because we need the collection. And uh, we thought we did it right but we are missing one. We are missing one, specifically uh, we were missing this guy, the angler, and we picked it up today at Comic Con. So. 
The beautiful day at Comic Con was concluded by having the last missing minifig, the angler, and he was. I was. I find. I found him. I was right. No repeats so far. We got some extras because we bought we bought extras from the first retail store. But for now, the selected the selected batch for this stream is, I think, no repeats. So I'm verifying this with you guys. I'm trying to open. Um, I'm trying to open all the bags, and um, it's on me if there is a mistake because we verified it, and I think that's all of them. Is the is the katanas colors new? I think they are. I don't think we ever saw katanas in brown. In brown, like dark brown? Yeah, like this one, yeah. reddish brown. They might. It's like the classic brown. It's like the sparring katanas in a certain sense. Maybe. Maybe, but I'm not sure. I think they were not. What's well, new? But her whole print for her body. Is yeah, it's new. It's everything is new. Great. The one expression on her face, which might be. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So the katanas are like. Well, of course the mold is not new, but maybe they are new for the Ninja Go movie way. They may be like available in the smaller, maybe like the training set. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. I gotta check Destiny's bounty if they have like golden uh, brown katanas. This is like marked as gang and guitar rocker. And I remember like feeling for this minifig. And I'm right, I'm right. Um, that's the guitar. Awesome print, that's a strato, no, it's not a strato castle. It's like more of a, uh, how do you name it? The, the, the star shape. There's a name for this type of guitar. And he can totally join like this dude, this dude can totally join my favorite call, the Rebel call, with ACDC shirt. Yeah, totally. Cool. Yeah, that's the guy. He can rock with call. So yeah, he's. A, it's a, it's a funny because that's a reference to Guns N' Roses. I was like talking about Guns N' Roses a few minutes ago, and that's the guy. Like it's Gong and Rockers <laughs> member. It's Guns N' Roses. And like, I think Axel Rose was wearing this type of shirt with a skull on it in one of the concerts. I'm pretty sure that's type of a Guns N' Roses shirt. That's for sure. And he has some like tattoos and stuff. Cool guy. Two face expressions. Um, this like, one, like concert one. And there is this like, I'm a bad rocker. There you go. So he's like, this one is like a singing expression. And he comes with this like hippie hair. Um, the bandana and the long hair, very awesome fig. It, it probably can do like a fig of its own, it doesn't have to like Ninjago movie. It doesn't have to be like a Ninjago movie themed fig. He's a cool guy, great looking, like look at the legs, it's like the dual color. With, um, the, there's a chain and some like damages on the knees. Some, some like sharp, you know, cuts on the knees. This, uh, the skull, there's a skull with some like, does it say anything? It doesn't say anything specific, but it's a, it's a Guns, Guns N' Roses reference. So, really cool guy, love him. So yeah, a lot of cool references to rock music in this one. There's one more one more music reference, I'm gonna get to this pick in a second, which is also really cool. Next one up. Alright, the server is behaved. What? It's, it's, all, it's all healthy, like I'm not sure what you're talking about. Anyway. Um, nay, next pick. This one is labeled Zane. I, I marked it as Zane. So let's see if it's Zane actually. Because, like, yeah, we, we did like, the feeling test uh, all by ourselves, except for one minute pick by the Lego store employee. And then. Is that Zane? Yes, that's Zane. That is totally Zane with his <laughs> Christmas sweater, actually. Uh, let's see if I missed. Okay. Yeah, Zane. Has a cool backpack. That's a new mold. Um, <laughs> it's like a, it's Christmas. Yeah, it's totally like a Christmas type Zane. And his head is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna show you why. Because he has. Oh, let me just get the backpack of course. There is no print on the back. There is no print on the back, so I'm not showing the back. Like it's just a white and like. Um, all right. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with this guy. <laughs> it's really cool. And, well, no accessories. Uh, no hand accessories, at least. That's that's a bummer. But, he comes with a new uh, type of backpack. That's like a trapper's backpack. There's like a, some um, sleeping mat right there. Uh, the print for uh, for the sweater is a kind of a Christmas season print. You can see some like... What is this? It's like a... Looks like a, like a 
8-bit game monster to me. Maybe that's like a, some sort of like a monsters in Ninja Go shark army from Garmadon. That's pretty cool. Like he comes with a, like it's like a nice, nice colored shirt in blue. So his shirt is like this is like a vest. He has a Christmas vest, not a sweater. And the blue shirt is you know, it's a no arms vest. Um, looks pretty cool. And the thing with his head is that I'm gonna show you actually. He comes with this like dots printed all over his back. I think you guys can guys see. Maybe I'm gonna kill the light for a second. It's so white. Not sure you guys can see. Yeah, you can see now. There is a, a lot of dots showing his shaved, like army type of shaved hair in the back. I'm not sure if you can see. So like, generally his head is like an army cut for his hair, I guess. And uh, that's like a type of a, you know, Schwarzenegger cut, I think. Like a, there's a landing pad on this on this guy. And only single face expression with this like crazy um, psycho grin, <laughs> I think. Cool guy. Not sure what. Uh, why is he like so Christmassy themed with a backpack? It's like a like a traveler Zane. I don't know. The oh the backpack came out in minifigure series 16. <gasps> it did. You are correct, Kevin Lowe. You are correct. It did. It did. The mold is not new. Yes, yes, you are right. I, I, I just recalled myself that there, there was a backpack for the Traveler guy, right? Yeah, but this is a new color for sure. Yeah, you were right. Thanks for uh, for pointing that out. Yeah, I, I just there's so many pieces in Lego, I just don't recall all of them, really. I I just see a new color and I think it's a new piece. Um, and like Jack said, like some pieces are so old that you think they're new, you know? <laughs> or it's like a comeback to those pieces. So there's this guy. And uh, how many do we have left? Four, five, we have like four, uh, eight, 12, 13. So seven more, I should have like seven. Yeah, I think I have seven, there you go. Okay, this one is labeled. I'm gonna push those guys slightly back. So I have more space to build actually. All right, so um, this one is labeled Misako. So that hopefully is Misako, please be Misako. Yes, she was hard to feel. To be honest, she was hard to find because the the, the, the purse uh, piece is not very easy to spot. Um, apparently, you you think it is, but it's not. So that's Misako. No repeats, no repeats, zero repeats, zero repeats, zero repeats. I would say, and her face is good. Oh my god, this hair is amazing! Wow, such a nice piece of hair. She has some. Really special face expression, to be honest. Let's call her the shopping Misako, or like the work outfit Misako. So, this is, oh, I I, <laughs> I pushed this piece slightly, like right now she looks even better. She looks like mysterious, you know, one eye covered, but eh, you can like push it. Anyway, look at the hair, look at the hair. It's a Japanese style. Uh, I think it's Japanese, right? Like when you have like those two sticks holding your tied up hair. Is, Jap is it Japanese? I think it is. Um, must be like Oriental at least. I'm not very familiar with like the culture there. So I don't, I'm not really sure. But the face expression, there is a single one. And that's a, she has, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but she has dual color lips. The lower lip is brighter. The upper lip is darker. So that's something very uncommon and very unique for a, for a lady minifig like that. Look at her outfit, like beautiful transition between the torso and the legs. The legs are printed on the belt piece, so it fits the outfit perfectly. Like even the print in this golden details is, over, is printed over to the legs. So very big kudos for designing this print. It's excellent. Very nice outfit, almost like a casual work, not a casual, maybe some semi-elegant casual, semi, semi-elegant semi work outfit, I would say. Because she has some sort of a name tag. Um, it says, <laughs> so, so like love, you know, like this, like casual, like love that says, Xoxo or Coco. Maybe her name is Coco. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, there's a purse. That's a special piece as well. And just, well, um, those blue legs, but still the print goes over the legs, so it makes it exclusive. 
Great minifig, again, like, I, I keep saying that, I'm probably boring right now, but like, those minifigs are very good, are very good. Um, I just can't stop saying how good they are. We had the last series 16, it was 16 or 17, I don't know. The last series had like the collectible minifig series for LEGO, but they, they were okay. This is so much better. This is so much better. Let's open the next one. Let's open the next one. Which one is your favorite? Call. The Rebel Call, because his shirt, again, for those of you who just joined, it's ACDC reference. There's a thunder in the middle and four characters replacing the letters of AC and DC. And the back of his shirt says, again, World Tour 1985 sold out. It's a concert. It's a rock concert shirt. ACDC reference, boombox, the bad boy face, amazing, awesome reference pick. The rocker is uh, also a cool one. The GPL tech is my second favorite. GPL Tech, nerdy, research um, gal, with a laptop, that is a Lego laptop, by the way, it's awesome, and the Batman shirt just takes the cake, the second cake, <laughs> you know. So far, so good. The Rocker is awesome too. The Rocker is like a Guns N' Roses reference, this guy. I love like rock uh, minifigs. This is a Guns N' Roses. His name is Gongen Rocker member. Guns N' Roses, get it? Let's see if this is, yes. Woo! Yeah, I, I'm like doing a woo every time because we felt for them manually. So yes, that is Master Wu <laughs> with cornflakes. I'm not sure that's gonna be a joke in the movie probably. Um, not sure what's up with the cornflakes yet. Maybe I'm not very familiar with Ninja, or maybe you guys know what's up with the cornflakes. Is that his favorite meal or something? Uh, I think the face is the same as Master Wu in, uh, in the set he comes. With, it's like Destiny's Bounty, he comes with Destiny's Bounty, that's for sure. And he comes with Master Falls that we haven't built yet. So, let me just show you the face before I get to the, the beard. So yeah, that's the face I think we saw before. I think I saw this face in Destiny's Bounty. I, I gotta double check, but I think that's true. And yeah, that's the same type of his beard, which is really awesome. And the special piece he comes with, oh, there's the this hat that we've seen before, but I'm not sure if this color. I think that the last version was red for many minifigs. Oh, oh, I skipped, I, I skipped, I skipped the part, I skipped the part, I skipped the part. Uh, what is this? Oh, there's an apron. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um, is that the way it goes? Like, how, how does it... How do you... Let me just double check one thing. Okay, yeah, because they made it like an instruction because I'm not sure how to put this thing on. Oh, you wrap it around and then... Oh, get it. I get it. I get it. I think... Did we have this one before? I think we did. Anyway... Yeah, that's, that's how it is. So let's just put it together and just connect. There you go, that's that's sort of like his... Oh, it's okay, looks okay. Awesome, all right, so yeah. That's this guy. And yeah, he comes with a box of uh, cornflakes. Uh, is that a reference to something in the Ninja Go show? Because I'm not sure. Uh, actually, I'm not familiar with this one. So if you guys can help, that'd be awesome. And maybe that might be the reference for the movie itself, which you haven't seen yet, of course, because it's not out. But yeah, that's a print. That's a print for Conflicts box. So great new piece to have for any custom like kitchen building, most likely. Mike, what? I'm, I'm sorry I'm skipping so many questions. Like I going to get through this collection real fast because like it's late actually, it's 5.40. I have to go home. I have to like do some other stuff. <laughs> so. I just wanted to do like a live stream today for you guys because I know we skipped it in the morning, so I just wanted to catch up with that. But yeah, that's a, that's a good that's a good fig. Like him a lot. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a good looking guy. Next is oh come on, I'm gonna put him on the side of the plate, so he's not as you know, he's not as um, centered. Anyway, the next one is let's see.
There you go. Who is this? That should be Volcano Garmadon. That's my label said that. Jack and me were labeling them like crazy. And yes, that's him. That's for sure him. He has like a volcano pajamas, I think. And this guy, he's like, <laughs> he's, he's, he's like volcano pajamas. Um, great guy. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's him. All right, so yeah, we get the Volcano Pajamas um, Garmadan, which is pretty awesome. Where do you get this? Uh, Legoland California and apparently Comic-Con. We got them at Legoland California now, and one at Comic-Con. All right, so there's the guy. That's Volcano, oh, come on, just jumping out. There you go. All right, so that's Volcano Garmadon. And you know, guys, I, um, I'm gonna do a short break here because I have to do one more thing before I, I finish the stream. And I have to like jump to the restroom real quick. So I'm gonna do a short break uh, here actually. And uh, you guys can uh, hang out for like five more minutes, all right? And I'm gonna be back uh, with uh, five more, I think like, how many do we have? Um, that's four, eight, 12. Um, 15. So five more minifigs to go. The Garmadon is awesome, really. And I'm gonna jump to the restroom real quick, uh, get some water, and I'm gonna be back in a few more minutes, okay? Just give me a second, because, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta take a short, real break, all right? I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll have five, uh, five minifigs more to go, and I'll be back in, like, five uh, minutes. But for now, uh, enjoy say some music, all right? Be right back.
guys. All right, I'm back. Uh, thanks for this short break. Uh, really quick trip to the bathroom, but I'm good now. So let's uh, come back to the building. Well, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for waiting for me. You guys are awesome. Uh, update on what we are so where we are so far. We have um, four, eight, twelve. 15 minifigs on the table. The last one was Garmadon in his... Oh, his helmet is like super not secured on his head, I have to say. It's a cool helmet, but it doesn't really sit that well on the head. Just jumps off all the time. And again, uh, I can say it enough. Print for legs and two torsos in <laughs> volcano pajamas. And okay, okay, here is the thing, guys. Here is the thing. Um, you can see he has a volcano on the pajamas, right? And I have uh, some rumors and from a pretty verified source that there is going to be a set called Garmadon's Volcano Liar. Like a liar, like a, like, a, like a headquarters, you know? And that's the set's name. It should come the same way as the other Ninjago movie sets come on in August, but we don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, that's a secret set that's probably going to be happening soon and it's almost verified by now. And, and yeah, the guy has volcanoes in his pyjamas, so that's his like hideout. That must be his hideout, that's not the ultimate ultimate weapon temple, that's the volcano thing for him. And there's a set that has the same name and it's coming. It's coming and it's, it's more than a rumor, I think, right now, but it's not even officially unveiled yet. Um, we're just gonna have to wait, uh, so I keep it in the rumors phase, but I'm pretty confident it's gonna come. It's called Volcanoes Liar. I, know, I don't remember the set number, but I saw the set number. And uh, we're gonna have to see in August if it's gonna be happening. So the, the pajamas kind of give it away, to be honest. His accessories, by the way, is this like oriental uh, zoop bowl, which is a new piece for Ninja Go sets. We're gonna have a bunch of these in the uh, Ninja Go City set, which we're gonna build on Monday, so you can wait. Uh, just uh, two more days uh, for this awesome build. We're gonna do it with Jack together. There's a spoon in the set and overall great fig because of his overall uh, feeling of this like morning uh, Garmadon. Like as a super villain that's having a miso soup or for morning, I guess. Anyway, get to the, let's get to the next fig. Um, let's see which one. I don't want to like, duplicate the fig so it's like slightly different. Speaking of food, let's get this guy. This is labeled as uh, oh, as Sushi Chef. Sushi Chef, and that's the label, because I think Jack found this guy. So we're gonna try to see if that's the correct pick. And no duplicates, no duplicates, no duplicates. No duplicates. No duplicates. Yes, yes, that's the correct guy. That is the correct guy. Yes, that's the Sushi Chef. I figure uh, that's gonna be, we have extras for this guy and that is actually perfect because I think we got like three of them. And um, we have a Japanese restaurant mock <laughs> in the city. That's a custom build uh, from uh, Brick City Depot. And uh, this guy is gonna get there as a sushi um, cook. Of course he's gonna get there. One of those minifigs is gonna be uh, hanging out in the restaurant. That's for sure, because it's an excellent sushi uh, chef minifig. We get some sushi rolls with him. So I'm gonna show you in a second, just gonna complete assembling him. Um, he comes with an ax for cutting those fine sushi pieces. And yeah, he comes with... Okay, let, I can show you right now. There are two, two round one by one tiles with custom sushi print on them. That's uh, this guy has and the Kamek Ninja Go City set also has. Remember the Ninjago City set has a restaurant, a sushi restaurant in one of the um, stories. Hey, uh, brother from another break, welcome back my friend, our favorite donator with $2 donation today. And uh, right now he's asking favorite minifig in Ninjago series. And uh, are you asking me about the whole Ninjago theme including the minifig series or just from this selection? Because if you're asking about this selection, my friend, this is uh, Cole, is my favorite. He's the ACDC reference rocker guy. Um, that's my favorite from this line, this current on the table. But if you ask me about the sets, I, I'll say the favorite is the guy from the Fire Mech set. 
uh, it's a civilian that has this craziest ever made face expression with this like cry baby face expression and this is like by far the coolest face I've seen in LEGO and he's my favorite he became my favorite I love him a lot and uh, yeah so that's from the set that's from the sets and from this line again call that's like the rebel teenage call with ACDC shirt that's ACDC Thunderstruck yeah totally awesome fig sushi chef again nice print for his uh, sushi chef outfit I love those like tiny little Shrimps! Those are shrimps. Yeah, um, you can see those like tiny little things on his uh, pattern on the robe are shrimps. Totally, you can, can you see. Those are shrimps for sure. That's a shrimp print. Yeah, sushi pieces. One with the barrel with the cylinder, so that comes as a big sushi piece. He comes with an axe to cut all those fine sushi pieces and a bald type of. Uh, head uh, headwear with bandana so actually that fits him very well I was always skeptical about those like bald heads minifigs because like well they're bald anyway but yeah this one actually works super awesome great little, little guy like again another excellent minifig guys I think this is the best series of minifigs uh, so far for, for the latest years hands down this is the best series I loved Batman movie, I loved the, the latest, uh, latest collectible series with like the um, animal minifigs and all this like crazy stuff. And this is the best, hands out, Go. done, this is the best, this is the best. Right, next one, all the Comic Con minifigs. We have the video for the Comic Con minifigs, Jack is just doing the Vixen minifig I got today at Comic Con. Yes, I, we went to Comic Con, just came back. We got, we got this, we got the brick heads for Merchant Manhunter and Supergirl today and it's funny because we are standing in line, like Jack went, okay, Jack went yesterday and he got in line for the Deadpool duck, he didn't get it, he got in line for brick heads, he didn't get it, today he, got, he went with me for the line for brick heads, he didn't get it, I got it. <laughs> He went in line, we went in line for Vixen, he didn't get it, I got it. So he lost four times, I, I tried only twice and won both times. So we got them all, he's, he's recording Vixen right now. I got the brick heads, can't wait to get those guys out. Uh, we're opening the boxes, we're not like collectible sellers, we're opening the boxes, it's a collection. It's a collection. I got pretty lucky, like I said like, I got the Vixen in my hands, I had that footage of me like, I, I was holding the camera, I was just approaching the Vixen and like, press the button and like winner I'm like oh my god and like the, the lady gave it to me I was like so happy that I got it um, it was super fun it was super fun so I was like got Brickheads got Vixen and then I should I was just like maybe I should buy a Powerball ticket today that's a good call I should buy a Powerball ticket I'm gonna go to the station the closest gas station I'm gonna get a Powerball ticket that's a day oh no it's a double <gasps> And the music fades away. It's a double, guys. It's a double. Who do we have a double? Wait, what's going on? Oh, that, I, I think I might have grabbed a double. Why is it like marked as Lloyd Garmadon? Huh, so that's Garmadon. And I thought it was Lloyd. So we may be missing. We may be missing one, guys. We may be missing one actually. <gasps> Music fades. Yeah, actually, I'm. Oh, he may be another bag. Oh, I think it was verified. Anyway, I got a double Garmadon, Garmadon, Garmadon um, with the um, pajamas for Volcano. So, not a perfect stream. No, it's not perfect. Where is Lloyd then? I swear we. we, we Ah, we should have Lloyd. Or maybe I think it was mislabeled. There, he is somewhere. He is somewhere. Let's see if I can if I can try. I think he's. I think I I felt him. He's he's one of the bags, but I don't have it on the table. Um, he may be in one of the bags. Uh, still, it, it's not like in the selected ones from the team. So I may grab him. I think he's there. But look, I open a double. That's my uh, my mistake. I think because like we fell for him and we got Garmadon instead of Lloyd. Well, that's his father, of course. But like, yeah, that's a second, 
second, uh, actual second, pyjamas, what kind of pyjamas gamma on? And like, oh my god, I gotta call Jack right now. Hey Jack! Come here for a second. Can you come? No! It's over, it's done, we got a double. Lloyd Garmadon was a Garmadon actually, what? Is Lloyd Garmadon? Yeah! The guy like... Was it me messing up? Let's see. Wait, we have another... Wait, the, the... The guy with the ball? Yeah, the ball, Lloyd, like... We need number... We need number seven. We need number seven. It's... 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 it's okay, it, it's, it's Jack's writing, it's you. It's Jack's writing, it's Jack's writing, he messed up, it's not me. Let's see, let's keep opening. I think we haven't. I think we haven't. What? Oh my god, like your favorite bathroom position? What, what is this question like? Dude, what? What? Seriously, why was it funny? Anyway. Let's open this. I need Lloyd Garmadon. I need... I need Lloyd with like the actual hoodie. Yeah. Oh snap! Maybe I fell for the ball and I didn't check the rest. Because the pajamas Garmadon has the ball too. Is that what we got? Yeah, I got twice two of those guys. The volcano pajamas. So we do we don't have a Lloyd? Um, no. Why? I thought we had it. Oh, snappity. You see, guys, we are not perfect, apparently. Anyway, the next thing is not a repeat, <laughs> and it's what is labeled, it's the flashback Garmadon. So that's the guy that comes in like this um, crazy office outfit. Um, oh, snap, I'm, I'm unhappy right now. This day could have been so much better if we had Mike, please no. What? 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 No. <laughs> let's let's just put all this behind and st what? Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Um, so we don't have him. Oh snap! Was it me or you? Because it's your writing. <laughs> Must have been me. Because I think I felt for this guy, and I, I I think I told Jack to write it down. So it's on me, guys. Oh no, that's the first time I, I, I made a mistake for Ninja Go for the collectible minifigs actually. No! No! We're gonna fix this error, don't you worry, we're gonna get this guy, find this guy, no matter how, he's gonna get in the collection. But that means we can get a collection video out! No, Mike noticed me. Hey, what's up? Anyway, uh, that's a flashback, Garmadon. Oh, I'm so like, we got like, maybe we can like give him away or something. You guys want him? Maybe, I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. We got like two of them. There's one here and there's one here. Ah, I was, I was like almost there. There's like one pig left and was almost there. We missed. So far, I think we don't have Lloyd Garmadon. Lloyd in his uh, school hoodie. And I think, oh, you know, guys, I know what it is. I know where I messed up. I know where I messed up. Here's the thing. I didn't really pay attention to the second torso in the bag. And Lloyd Garmadon and actual Garmadon both have a spoon and they both have a bowl. So I, what, what happened, I think I got the bowl and I got the spoon. And I said, yep, that's Lloyd. And I probably didn't feel for the helmet or for the hoodie part and just went with it. Like that, that's Lloyd. And I didn't like really see the second torso in the bag. So messed up, it's on me. I think it's on me. I mean, we're gonna have to get him. We're gonna have to get him uh, because like those two pieces gave it away for me like the spoon and the, the actual um, bowl kind of messed up my collection i gotta get him now oh we're gonna get to con tomorrow probably i'm gonna go to the con tomorrow actually i'm gonna pick him up um yeah because we have like a four day pass so I, I think i'm gonna i want to go tomorrow again it's such an awesome event guys it's awesome oh i cut some of the instructions anyway last bag <laughs> you reveal your favorite bathroom position. <laughs> what is my favorite bathroom position? Like standing and washing my hands and like I'm a I'm a man, so I use the I use the thing that, that men use to like do their stuff, right? 
So I have to, I can, I understand while, you know, doing this stuff, so. And I sit when I need to, uh, you know. <laughs> it's like all this bathroom talk. By the way, that's the last fake, and that's the second music reference that we have for today, and that is a really awesome mini fake, one of the very unique ones. That's the N-pop girl. <laughs> N-pop means uh, it's a reference to K-pop, Korean pop, and N-pop means ninja girl pop. So that's like this, those like um, mostly um, Korean, of course, crazy pop fans, like this pop, very jumpy pop music from Korea, from South Korea. And uh, she is, uh, well, she's a fan, so she's all like sweet and pinky and like girly with a teddy bear. And she's like, she, she has like a very strong makeup and uh, crazy colors, like, you know, very good mi minifig. It uh, reminds me of the butterfly from the previous uh, series, the butterfly girl. You know, the one, the fairy, like with the fairy wings and like but uh, butterfly wings, like the, the fairy wand and things like that. But that's like, she of course has the Unikitty print. <laughs> that's like, instead of Hello Kitty, it's Unikitty uh, print on her torso. Uh, very unique, very unique, I have to double say that. Uh, pink teddy bear with uh, blue stripes on his belly. And the ballerina, the to-do, that is the same piece we got, for example, for the Batman fairy minifig, the fairy Batman, and the bat, uh, and the ballerina, like in the assembly square, for example, the, the dancer, the ballet dancer. Um, and she comes with like an awesome like print for her legs. Um, oh, don't, don't look under her skirt, like you, you're a nice, stop doing it. Anyway, that's how he, she has like some tiny little prints uh, of uh, hearts on her legs and uh, a number of colors. There's a lime green, just kind of like a um, light green, light blue, dark pink, light pink. Unikitty print is amazing. Um, stars and, uh, oh, where's the bear? Stars and uh, hearts on the back, very detailed print, really awesome, all the way around, very cool. Um, and like this, Harley Quinn style. Uh, Harley Quinn had the same mold in Batman Collectible Minifig series, and this one comes in uh, different colors. That's light blue and pink. Single face expression with a very heavy makeup. You can see her like uh, crazy, <laughs> nice looking lips. Uh, very funny expression. And I'll, what is this? Oh, just like dots on her cheeks. So that's that's pretty very um, unusual minifig for this series. You guys can see how much she stands out with all the colors on her um, entire mold um, that's a lot of colors you can see like she like she like stands out stands out in the colors and uh, that means i went through the all oh, bags that i had the rest of them that i have are repeats the rest of them are repeats i know that so guys with this sad moment for uh, our streams first time ever no one nobody's perfect nobody's perfect nobody's really perfect first time ever we messed up we messed up and really bad we don't have lloyd garmadon we don't have this guy we don't have number seven number seven the lucky seven the lucky seven is not here i'm so mad right now i should have tried better to i'm so good at finding them honestly the last series i streamed i found all of them Hey, donation! I just saw that. Brother from another break, thank you for that donation. Two dollars from you again, my favorite donator. A favorite minifig in collectible minifigure series, not Ninja Girl. Um, you know what? I'm always a fan of licensed things, more than the Lego things. I really like the mentioned butterfly, to be honest, from the last series. Uh, I think it was the excellent thing with the butterfly girl and like the print for her, um, the mold for the wings and all this stuff. It was really good. Uh, I liked it a lot. There was one more that I liked from this series, I don't remember. Oh, the 80s cell phone guy. He was like a really cool minifig I liked a lot. But my favorite is the Lobster Batman. Yeah, I'm not like going too far uh, back. I'm not going too far back with that because I wasn't like really collecting them back again. So I'm only familiar with the latest like four series to be honest with you. And uh, from those I can choose because I know them and I, 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 I had them in my hands. Uh, Lobster Batman is my uh, favorite. Lobster Batman, totally. Um, but you, you said excluding Ninja Girl, right? Because right now this guy is topping off my Lobster Batman. This guy is topping off. 
And even this guy and this guy, the JPL tech, this guy and this guy are, are better. I could say uh, Shard Army guys, but I won't say it. I think they're excellent overall, but they are too kind of familiar to what we get in the sets. Maybe except her, maybe except her. But anyway, we messed up. We messed up real bad. I'm gonna have to get this guy tomorrow at the con when I have the chance. I'm gonna go to the Lego booth, stand there as, as, uh, as long as I need to fill the guy. I'm gonna have to find probably his hood because that's the only unique piece to be honest because the bowl okay if i okay it, it's gonna be different when i find the bowl when i find the bowl in a pack i'm gonna search for the second torso if there is no second torso i mean i got the, the lloyd if there is a second torso that means i have um the volcano garmadon the volcano pajamas garmadon so that's that's gonna be my mission for tomorrow i'm gonna try to get it I'm gonna try to find it, but for now we're missing one. We're missing one. We have, we have the the the, the green ninja Lloyd. That's for sure. And he's he's better. He's better. Like this fig, this fig is not the best in series. Come on, he's not the best. He has like a hoodie, and that's it. The hoodie is like a molded piece with her hair, with his hair. So that's pretty cool. But this guy is a better version of him, the green ninja. Like you get the hair, and you get the you get the ninja go mask. Um, you know in one single bag so that's a better version of Lloyd for sure and an excellent blueprint for his uh, Mega Dragon uh, head I guess anyway and that's gonna be it for the stream I don't have much else to do here because like we don't have this guy and I have all the repeats um, in, in other bags I'm pretty sure that he's not here in the studio Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really sorry for messing up and uh, I really hoped we had all 20. We had 19, 19, and we specifically got to Comic-Con booth to get, one of the missions was to get this guy because he was missing. He, we got him, but we were not aware that we don't have Lloyd Garmadon. <sighs> well, plastic cape on the female general is wrong. Are you sure? <gasps> You're right. Huh. Wow, that's a good point, nobody. Uh, <laughs> nobody, it's, it's, your, it's your like, switch name. You know what, I'm gonna fix it for you right now because you're right. The long one, the long one goes bottom. That's right, the long one goes to the bottom and the short one, because they are different size, of course. They are different size, so you are right, my sir. I'm gonna fix it for you, so you don't go to sleep with this like uneasy mind of me messing up on this guy on this gull, actually. Um, yes, fix it for you, Spe specifically for you, my friend. I thank you for pointing that out. Classic Mike, go for it. You can hit those hashtags, Classic Mike, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm like not offended, that's actually a compliment because Classic Mike is me messing up and then fixing things. So, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, that's that's much better, I guess. So yeah, it's fixed, uh, the actual piece. That's, that looks much better, you have to say that. That looks much better, like the, lo the big piece at the bottom, um, the small piece uh, around her head. Yeah, fixed, 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 thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it a lot. I probably couldn't, wouldn't like notice that because if it wasn't for you, so kudos. Thanks for doing that, thank you. Yay, all right, cool man. Thank you guys, I'm gonna be tuning out of the stream. Wow, 6.13 p.m. in California. I'm tired, guys. Um, I, anything I had today, was, or, all I had today was a cup of coffee for three bucks at Comic-Con. I bought a coffee for three bucks and then I noticed there is a press room for us for free with free coffee. Anyway, that was my breakfast and then I had like an In-N-Out burger and that's it. That's my whole day of food. I'm super tired. I made like 20 or 30 or 50,000 steps on Comic-Con through those halls in the queues to get those guys and to get Vixen, to get swag from LEGO, to talk to LEGO uh, stream people, actual LEGO marketing people that were streaming in Jago City, uh, to get the minifig and to sh shoot all the cosplay, do some vlogging, crazy day, it's hot outside, it's San Diego summer, so. I'm done with this day. Like I'm gonna probably jump, do some like small work for today, but I uh, I actually have to go home and like, you know, spend time with the family. So um, I'm gonna be finishing. Like even though I messed up, still a good day. Still an awesome day today. Comic Con is so amazing. It was my first time, my first time at Comic Con. I was like, I was super 
super, super excited. It was so amazing. I loved it. Every single bit of it. The cosplay, the, 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 the vibe. Even the lines were not that bad because the people are so friendly. Kudos to anyone uh, who was standing up with us in the line and they like kids noticed like we're break ball like you guys are break ball like and their parents were like hanging out with us and like thank you I don't remember your names I'm so sorry I don't remember all your names but all of you who are like standing in our comic online today with me if you're watching by any chance thank you thank you guys you guys made it an awesome day for us and thanks to you we got the, the exclusive thanks to you because you were like hanging out with us we didn't freak out, we got cool luck. And I know those families also got the collectibles. They were like pressing the button like crazy and they got the collectibles. Everyone got it. Everyone, every family got at least one of them. Brickheads and Dixon. That was a cool part of this, of this day. And I'm, I'm so glad that we went to Comic Con. I'm going to Comic Con tomorrow most likely as well to hang out more with the panels and like the trade show exhibits because it's so awesome there. We just had to go back to the studio today. But that's it for the stream. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so glad I made it to the studio to make this stream for you before we had to actually call, call it a day. But it happened, it happened. So thank you so much guys for watching. Stream is over, I'm gonna be signing out. Tomorrow is Saturday, so tomorrow there is no news again. <laughs> no news again, I'm sorry there is no news, but this week was crazy. Off the grid, everything was off the grid, so no news for tomorrow. There is a Ice Tank review, Ice Tank Ninjago Ice Tank Zane's vehicle. Uh, coming tomorrow 5 a.m. as usual Sunday we're gonna schedule some video as well not sure which one most likely the Vixen that Jack is working on right now and that means no mocks no news for this week again I know I know I know I'm sorry I'm sorry we're gonna make it up we're gonna make a huge news episode next week maybe I don't know we'll see uh, it's gonna be scheduled um, and we're gonna work on that Monday is the big day because Monday tune in for the stream of Ninja Go City again <coughs> can't get hyped enough it's so big anyway that's gonna be happening monday and we'll see you then we'll see you then thank you guys so much for watching stay awesome and uh, have a great great awesome weekend all right have a great weekend build some lego have fun all right thank you guys so much for watching i'm out see you